Howdy, folks. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are saddling up and heading deep into the heart of Texas as we explore the legendary Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Join us as we delve into its rich history, incredible events, and the mouth-watering Texan cuisine that makes this event a true celebration of all things rodeo. So grab your cowboy hats and let's dive right in. Rodeo has become a Texas-sized tra tradition and attraction. Great big, but with thousands of people moving to H-Town each year, there's a chance you may not know the history of the big show. So, Melissa Correa tracked down the guy who created the rodeo's mascot, and together, they walk us down memory lane. Was it this size? No, no, no. Back in 1977, when Hap Honeycutt became a volunteer, things looked much different. There were 3,000, roughly 3,000 volunteers. But the whole thing started with seven cattlemen, who back in 1932 created the Houston Fat Stock Show to showcase cows. In 1961, the name changed to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. It's to promote youth and education. It's, I mean, that, that has been our tagline for as long as I've been a volunteer. Over the last 87 years, more than 475 million has gone to Texas students. And while the bow-legged H was around well before Hap, he did come up with the mascot as a way to entertain people who would wait hours to enter. We found we try to keep them happy and upbeat, so we started bringing in characters like from Astroworld. So I sat down and, and as the story goes, and, and uh, kind of started drawing. Uh, I get coming up with ideas and ten, took a three-dimensional and made a made. It. The bow legged H into howdy. One, two, three. A photo with him is a rodeo must. More than 1.3 million people attended the rodeo last year, and the event is run on volunteers. 35,000 men and women that work, you know, on an average of 40 hours, but many, many of them work a lot more than 40 hours. For free. For free. Oh, yeah, that's, it's all volunteer. It is. First things first, let's talk about the roots of this iconic event. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo traces its beginnings back to 1932, when a group of passionate individuals came together to promote and preserve the Western heritage and agricultural practices of Texas. Little did they know that their vision would evolve into the world's largest livestock show and rodeo. At the core of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is the Livestock Show itself, where thousands of exhibitors from around the world showcase their finest animals. From prize-winning cattle and horses to pigs, goats, and more, this event celebrates the dedication and hard work of farmers, ranchers, and young exhibitors. And let's not forget the thrilling livestock auctions, where top-quality animals fetch top-dollar prices. Congratulations! to Styles Patton, your 2023 Grand Champion Steer at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Okay, Styles. so these are the moments that people in the livestock world dream about. Tell me what's going through your mind right now. Uh, oh my God, uh, oh wow. Uh, never in a million years what I thought 10 years ago when I started showing that I would ever get to this point. I'm just so thankful for my crew and for my family. Now, let's rope in the excitement of the rodeo competitions. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo brings together some of the best cowboys and cowgirls from across the country. Witness heart-stopping events like bull riding, steer wrestling, barrel racing, and the crowd favorite, rodeo clowns. The adrenaline is high, the cheers are thunderous, and the performances are truly awe-inspiring. This is the bull that we had last year. They won the 50,000 on. This is Yellowstone. Come on. Got that slide. Trying to get him to stand up. There you go. He's still squatting, Chad. Ouch. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, everybody, get your teeth. 
the first best medicine. But wait, there's more. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is not just about livestock and rodeo, it's a music extravaganza too. Every night, the star-studded lineup takes the stage, featuring top-tier artists from various genres. Whether you are a country music fan, a pop enthusiast, or a lover of hip-hop, there's something for everyone at these unforgettable concerts. When you are ready to take a break from the action, head over to the lively carnival and midway area. Feast your eyes on a kaleidoscope of colorful rides, carnival games, and mouth-watering food options that will leave you spoiled for choice. Say everything's bigger and better in Texas and boy are they right when it comes to some good eats here at the Houston Rodeo. Feast your eyes on this. Nothing gets larger, wackier, and crazier than carnival food. Dominic knows. Welcome to Biggie's. At this stand, it's go big or go home. Check out the Big Daddy. Whoa. A 14 inch corn dog made using pecan smoked sausage, drizzled with cheese, and hot Cheetos. Need a side? Then keep your eyes on the fries. Standing 18 inches tall, the colossal curly fry cone is filled to the brim with freshly cut curly fries. But if you're craving something sweet, say hello to the candy factory. From cotton candy to caramel apples, to change it up, sprinkle on hot Cheetos. Then there's the unicorn float, made using blueberry coconut soda, hot for even more fry goods. I know I am. At Sweet Cheeks, they've got fried Oreos, cheesecake, yeah, it's like deep fried heaven. And the best part, you can grab and walk it off at the same time. That's great, sounds 60. From deep fried delicacies to classic Texan favorites, the food at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is a culinary adventure in itself. Spicy, crunchy, flaming hot Cheetos are just really in right now. But take a look at that, the size of that fries, that's amazing right there. Oh man, and you know what, this is still steaming hot. Is it safe to take a bite? It is safe to take a bite. Okay, and by the way, we should point out we're at Biggie's, and this is like, Biggie's is your baby, right? Biggie's is the baby, this is it right here. He's going in. Mm. You know Hot Cheetos, it's a thing at Channel 2. Absolutely, Hot People Cheetos. People love their Hot Cheetos. Yeah, they're hot, no pun intended, right? Oh man, okay, I'm gonna finish this when this cools down a little bit, but we gotta talk about these fried Let's Oreos. Talk about this. What would the rodeo be without fried Oreos, right? But now you can get it in a beautiful rodeo hat. There's 15 Oreos in here. It feeds an entire family. Uh, I wanna tell you that Oreos became really popular about 10 years ago, and they never went away. They just keep coming, and it's a favorite. There's even a, a National Oreo Day on March 6th, and I'm gonna tell you that people come. Beyond the excitement and entertainment, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is deeply committed to supporting education and the youth of Texas. A significant portion of the proceeds from the event goes towards providing scholarships, grants, and educational programs. The impact it has on the lives of students and the community is truly remarkable. For other competitions are already underway. That's the case with this year's Student Western Art Competition. Matt Doherty met up with this year's grand champion at her high school art classroom in Richmond. This year's winner is no stranger to trophies. Last year, she set the rodeo's record for highest price paid for student artwork at auction. So the first thing that I do is I grid my canvas. Mia Huckman will graduate from Foster High School this year, leaving as an expert at painting the modern West. It's just what I've always done. I enjoy doing it. It is something that's entertaining to me. I, it makes me happy. The detail is what you'd expect to find in a photograph rather than an acrylic painting. Each strand of hair on the horse's mane, the veins in the old cowboy's hand, the moth holes in the brim of his hat. Mia has placed at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo School Art Competition every year that she's been in high school. Her painting last year got second place. It sold for more money at auction than the painting that won first place. Last year, I got reserve grand champion and I set the rodeo auction record for sales. Um, my painting sold for $265,000. The way Mia chooses her subject matter is fairly simple. Look at past winners and I kind of like figure out, okay, this, these are the things that tend to 
place high in Sotwell. Mia is far from alone. Foster High School has developed a reputation for turning out some of the most artistically talented students in the area. Since 2000, we've had 13 students achieve either grand champion or reserve grand champion. The amount of money the winners get to keep is fixed, regardless of the selling price at auction. Last year, Mia got to keep $19,000. It's a check, so I can do whatever I want with it. This year, she'll get to keep $30,000 once her painting sells at auction in March. We'll have to wait until then to see if she's able to break the record she set last year once again. In Richmond, I'm Matt Doherty, KHOU 11 News. And there you have it, folks, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, where Texas tradition and cowboy spirit come alive. It's a fusion of thrilling rodeo competitions, world-class music performances, delicious food, and a commitment to education. If you find yourself in Texas during late February or early March, this event is an absolute must-see. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting glimpses into the world of rodeo and Texan culture. Until next time, happy trails!